Hello everyone, Brave here. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So I've recently been playing around a bit with Rockman 7 FC again, and I decided since I've been doing this for about five years that I'd create a tutorial series to help you learn how to mod the game. So this part is mostly going to be about setup and getting familiar with the game. So if you already have general knowledge on how it works and what you need to mod it, you probably don't need to watch this part. You can probably skip to whatever part you need. So for example, I'm going to be making a video on basically every area. So I'm going to do one eventually on sprites, music, uh, map editing, and text editing. So if you want to know how to do one of those things, you can just wait for that video to come out. And then you can uh, learn how to do that. Because I'll be going more in depth into each area in its respective video. So as I previously said, this part is going to be more about setup and getting familiar with the game. So we're going to jump into that right now. So let's get started. All right. So the first software you're going to need is WinRAR. And most operating systems nowadays will come with a built-in uh, like zip file extractor. And that's good. But WinRAR is good to have because... For one, uh, the map editor is not in a conventional compression uh, file format, so uh, WinRAR is good for this. And also, WinRAR is just nice to have in general for compressing files and whatnot. It's really convenient, and it's it's pretty easy to use, so uh, we're just going to download this right now. And download. You don't actually have to buy it. Um, that's just instructions. You don't actually have to buy it, but um, the free version you can use indefinitely. So it says here that this is a trial version, but you can actually use it longer than the 40 days. You'll never actually be charged for it. You can just click out of the uh, the sign up window or whatever for buying a license and you can just access the program like you normally would. So we're just going to install this. So it's good to just leave it on RAR and zip by default. and you can add others manually, so don't worry if you don't want to click any of these yet. Uh, you don't actually need to add it to desktop. Is it, It'll pop up when you need it, so you, you don't really need to go to it. So it's OK, and it's successfully installed. So uh, there, there it is. There is uh, WinRAR, and that's all we need for this right now. Now that's now that it's installed, we can move on to the next uh, software. Next is obviously the game, because we can't do any modding if we don't have the game. So the game is uh, ver. Final two archive. So we'll, uh, you need this to actually start, and then if you want to edit levels, you can get Map Designer ver. Four e. Uh, if you don't, if you don't plan on editing levels, you can skip this. You don't need to get Map Designer. But for the sake of the this tutorial series, I'm going to get both. So here's ver.final2. And there you can see it comes at the bottom. And it shows up uh, under WinRAR. So that means it's recognized. And there's Map Designer. Again, it has an odd file format, which is why we got WinRAR. So we're going to open both. Uh, and here's the notification for the license for WinRAR. You can just ignore this because it doesn't matter. And we're going to extract to my desktop. And there we go. And that's all for that. And then we'll open the map designer and we will also extract this to the desktop. And there we go. So now that you have the game installed and the map designer downloaded, we can move on to the next uh, program that is good for you. So the next software I'd recommend is Promotion NG. This one is a sprite editing software. And I recommend this one specifically. The reason I recommend this one over other software that works such as Paint XP is because Promotion allows you to edit the palettes of each image file. And that lets you um, basically change the game's palette to whatever you want. And um, obviously, I'll go more in depth on how that works in the part on sprites. So right now, all we really need to do is download it. So 
Um, there is a full version, but you don't need to get it. I currently use the free version. Um, the only thing that the full version really gives you is more convenience. So you can make do with just the free version. Um, like I said, it's it's what I've been using for five years. So and I I like using it. So once you get used to it, it's pretty it's pretty fine. Um, so we're just gonna download it. And we're just going to open it. And we're going to accept. And yeah, yeah, we'll create a desktop shortcut. Um, and install. So uh, we're not going to launch it right away. Um, you can open it if you want to get yourself familiar with it. Uh, change some stuff around and um, uh, to get comfortable but we don't really need to do that right now. When we get to the spriting part, I will go more in depth on how to use it. So you don't really need to worry about that right now. So that's all for promotion. So next, you're gonna wanna actually get some sprites um, or you can make your own alternatively. But if you don't really feel like doing that or you don't feel like you have the skills to do that, it's okay to just download uh, sprites from the internet so uh, if you're going to be doing that I recommend uh, Sprite Sync uh, right, right here um, it's really good for just Mega Man in general stuff um, Mega Man sprites and whatnot because um, that's what they specialize in so uh, as you can see here I've pulled up uh, the um, Rockman Battle and Fighters sheet for Mega Man and for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to be using this one, um, mostly because it's similar to the NES Mega Man sprites and, that are used in the game, and uh, it should be easy to uh, replace with these ones. Um, and alternatively, um, you can use the Spriter's resource here. Uh, I have the same sheet open here, um, so it's whatever. If you if you want to like replace, say, Mega Man with Proto Man or Roll, then Sprite Sync is good. But if you want to replace it with something more obscure uh, that isn't Mega Man, uh, you can do that. You can use the Spriter's resource. However, if you do use uh, the Spriter's resource, I would recommend choosing a, a something from a game that has a low, um, you know, bit. I suppose. Um, so like these. These sprites came from Rockman Battle and Fighters, which was for the Neo Geo Pocket. So Neo Geo Pocket games are good. Uh, so are NES games and Master System games uh, are good as well for getting sprites. So anything with that low uh, bit, like I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they're they're good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna download both of these uh, just because. You don't have to, you can just get one sprite sheet, but it's okay to have two. So I'm just going to save this one, and I'm going to download this one. And that's all you need. If, you, if you're just doing Mega Man, obviously you're only going to need like one sprite sheet. One or two maybe. But if you're going to do the whole, if you plan on doing the whole game or multiple characters, you're going to need more. So just... Finding the ones you like is all you really need to do. So it's not that's not too difficult. You can uh, search here, or you can just browse through different um, Mega Man series here, see uh, which ones you want. All right. So the next software you need is PX Tone, and this deals with the music in the game. So this is the software that was used to make the music in the game. So in order to replace the music, you're gonna have to do it through PX Tone. So I will go more in depth on how this works in the music part. So I'm just going to download this here. Um, as you can see, here's a zip file. So I'm just going to extract this to the desktop like all my other things. And there we go. There it is. And that's all you have to worry about for this one. Once again, I'll go more in depth in the, the music part. The final software you're going to need is for text editing, and that's Tiny Hexer. So 
if you don't plan on doing text edits, you don't need to do this. But if you want to change the text in the game, then you're going to want to do this. So you're going to scroll down here and click download tiny hexer. And there it is. So you're going to click that. And we're going to just set it up and accept the agreement. And it's going to install. And I don't want a web update. Uh, yep. And we're going to make a desktop icon. And it's going to install. Wonderful. And that's good. So we can run it, I guess. This is what it looks like. But we, we don't really need to worry about this right now. Uh, again, I'm going to go in more, more depth uh, in the text editing part. So don't worry about it right now. We'll get to it. Uh, you can open it up, try and get familiar with it, like all the other ones. But uh, you don't have to until we get to that part. Uh, all right, so that's that's all for the software and getting your sprites. Okay, now that you have all of your software installed, we can go and check out the game for a little bit. So Final 2 is the folder it downloads in. And here you can see, here's all the files. We'll get into each later, but I'll just run over them quickly. So BGM is the music, and as you can see, it's in .pt PT tunes. And that's the file extension for PX Tone, which is why we need it, because it can export into this file format. Um, in the image folder is all of your sprites. So you can see here's Proto Man, here's his Buster and Shield, here's the Mega Buster sprites, uh, there's Cloud Man, and just stuff like that. So this is probably the easiest part to do. Uh, PC is, I'm not actually sure what this is, to be honest. So you don't have to worry about this because we won't be using this. Uh, when somebody, myself or someone else, figures out what this is, I may add an additional um, tutorial. But for now, uh, what this is, is a mystery. Uh, SE is your sound effects. Uh, these are your basic WAV files. So th these are also uh, easy to replace. Uh, if you want to replace your sound effects, uh, you can do that pretty easily as long as you use a WAV file extension. And finally is your stage folder. And this is dat files with um, all the stage data, basically. So this is for the uh, map editor that we'll use later. Uh, we can use this data to um, change the stage, basically. Uh, so that's all. I'm just going to go over the readme config and then uh, that will be all. And we'll also run the game first. So, whoops, I, I think I actually, no, I didn't. I did open two, what the heck? Whoops, I accidentally opened two. So let's try this again. So here's the game. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's in a small window right now. Uh, we're just gonna skip this. And we're gonna go to the stage select. Uh, there's, there's the game. So, let's say you want to get it, uh, larger. You just change this, go to the config file, you can make it larger. This is the window size. This just means what you want it to do. So, currently it's mapped so Z is jump and X is shoot, but you can use this to switch it. So, Z is shoot and X is jump. But I like it this way, so it's fine to leave it by default. And this lets you turn off, uh, background music and sound effects, but we can leave them on for now. Um, and there's the config.ini file, so that's just your whatever thing. So, uh, readme is kind of busted. Not sure why, but kind of goes over the controls a little bit. So, like I said, there's Z and X to jump and shoot. Uh, there's also the Q key to pause, um, the R key to reset the game, A and S to toggle weapons, and the arrow keys are to move. And then print screen is your screenshot button, so don't really have to worry about that. So um, that's basically all. We can see that this uh, it opens in a bigger window now.
So that's going to be all for this part. There's going to be future parts in which I'll go over each uh, area, as I mentioned previously. So stay tuned if there's a specific area you need help in or you don't know how to do, and we'll get to that eventually. I hope you learned something from this, and if you didn't, that's okay. This is the basic stuff, so um, this should be pretty easy for most people to grasp. Uh, so with that all said, I'll see you guys next time. Brave out.